Hi guys, this is a quick video about heart embryology and I will be showing you how you can quickly remember with a simplistic picture uh, about which structures gives rise to which adult derivative in a heart in an adult heart. So this is not how it is in, in real life. This is just my version of a simplistic picture so that it can help you recall during the exam. So keep that in mind. Okay. So having said that, so I drew the heart right here with the four chambers and I'm going to draw a line above and below. Okay, so this is going to represent my trabeculated area. Okay, and the trabeculated area on top are the trabeculated atrium and the trabeculated area at the, at the bottom is going to be my ventricle. So, so let's get the easier ones out of the way. So we know that the trabeculated atria comes from the primitive atrium. That's the easy one, right? So I'm going to write primitive atrium, okay? And the trabeculated area from the ventricles is coming from the primitive ventricles, okay? Primitive area and primitive ventricles. Now, what about the smooth part of the uh, atria and the smooth part of the ventricle. So the one that is not shaded is going to represent my smooth part. So let's start from atria. So the smooth part of the left atrium is going to be coming from the pulmonary veins. Okay, and the smooth part of the sorry, smooth part of the left atrium is going to be coming from pulmonary veins. And the smooth part of the right atrium is going to be coming from sinus venosus, okay? Now, you might be wondering, is it going to be the right horn or the left horn of the sinus venosus? Which area are we talking about, right or left? We're talking about the right. So it's going to be the right horn of sinus venosus, which is going to give us to the right smooth atrium. Now let's look at the ventricle, the smooth, vent, uh, the smooth part of the ventricle. Now both the smooth part of the left and the right ventricle is going to be coming from bulbus cordis. Okay, see B C. There is, you know, you can see that there is a little bit of harmony in the picture. So there is P V S V, P A, P V, and then B C. Do you see what I'm talking about? You know, even if you can remember, okay, so if you can remember sinus venosus, you know that there is there was something V on the on the left side, so it must be pulmonary vein. So this was easier for me to remember, so I hope you see what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so what are we left with? We are left with uh, which derivatives gives rise to aorta and the pulmonary veins. So those are going to be coming from the truncus arteriosus. That one is easy, right? We don't really have to remember that when we kind of know it. What about the coronary sinus, which is in the right atrium? Where is the coronary sinus coming from? The coronary sinus is going to be derived from the left horn, okay? So this is the only confusing one according to me. So this is going to be derived from the left horn of sinus venosus, okay? because coronary sinus kind of dumps its blood onto the right atrium, but it is coming from the uh, sinus venosus, the left horn of the sinus venosus, okay? Last but not the least, where is the superior vena cava coming from, okay? So it's coming from the common cardinal veins, right? It's going to be the right common cardinal vein and the right anterior cardinal veins. Did I make this simple for you? Please let me know with a comment below. Bye for now.